here we go. We're gonna be on the Jet Setter on 99999cc. We're going to be playing the most difficult Nintendo tracks that exist, but there's a twist. We have one player who is on 150cc Flame Runner, and we're gonna see how the Jet Setters on Max CC do against the Flame Runner player, Matt, FW Matt. My 2v2 partner is on the Flame Runner. Here we go. Jet Setter, what character do we use? Ooh. Maybe we'll go for like Rosalina or something. I haven't used Rosalina. And I think the Jet Setter looks really cool in this color scheme. So yeah, this is it. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can beat Matthew. Okay, so we're gonna play tracks from hardest to least difficult. Rainbow Road is by far the hardest track on 999999cc. Oh god. That was pretty good. That was pretty good, wasn't it? I actually like managed to almost stay on for a little bit there. I'm in first place. Take that, Matthew. Can I just like... I guess we're doing this. Uh-oh, we're about to plunge into uh, Greenland. <laughs> not good, not good. Oh, that was hilarious. That was actually pretty good. I, you can't turn it off because we have to be on manual drift also. That was another rule Matt had for us. Matt is in first. I could see him, the Funky Kong, that is not having a difficult time. I'm doing pretty decent, though. Gotta purposely miss some of these startup boosts, you know? Gotta be smart about it. Absolutely no way we're gonna make that turn ever. We're gonna fall off about five times a lap. This is gonna be one of the more boring races, but we have to start things off, you know, giving him an advantage. We're playing a 10 race GP here. So after 10 races, we'll see who wins this little stupid tournament we've uh, mustered up. And Matt definitely is gonna get 15 on this first race. I'm hoping to get 12 points. I'm hoping to beat Matt. That was good, that was really good. Why land this? Oh, I didn't fall off, what a beast. Well, now I'm dead. It's pretty good though, it's pretty good. Matt got 15 points with ease. Dude, I managed to do that part of that falling off. That was amazing, oh my god. Aw, oh, dang it. Okay, good, good. I did not have to complete that race, but we got second place. Matt won, he's winning. This is a 10 race GP. The next track that Matt deemed the second most difficult is Maple Treeway. I might go for the shortcut, honestly. You know what, why not? A bullet bill would be really fun. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> we have to fall off immediately when that happens, otherwise we are screwed. This this vehicle on the speed mod can, only has one advantage I can think of. And that advantage is the fact that you accelerate very slow, so you have time. Like, you do have... You have quite a bit of time to, you know, get your bearings every time you fall off. You got some time to redirect yourself and all that jazz. Oh, no. Not, no, no, no. That is not good. This always happens on Maple. Jesus, we are not gonna have a chance on this one. There's no way, there's absolutely no way. Okay, that's good, that's good. That is okay with me. I'm struggling guys, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. I need to figure this out. We're, we're having a rough time here on Maple. We're in ninth? Dude. New ultra shortcut? What's gonna happen here? Oh no, into the water. Everyone has the same goal in this room. We're all kind of in this together. It's like the Jet Setters versus Matt. Like, can we defeat Matt? Oh, dude, that camera angle was phenomenal. I've never had a camera angle like that in Mario Kart Wii, ever. I was like, must keep Mega Mushroom. Even though this will do nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay, I caught up to the pack, guys. This is good. If I have a really good U-turn uh, on lap three, I could probably get a top three position. Let's see what we can do here. Come on, come on, heart of the cards, guide me. Uh-oh, 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 we're going around the U, we're going around the dip, yes, yes, oh man. Thank you, thank you game for being generous to me today. Oh, that was beautiful, that was amazing. Look at that guys. 
Oh, third place. Jake died at the line. Clutch lap three. I really figured it out lap three, didn't I? Third place. Get wrecked, Jake. Get wrecked. Matt is completely dominating, but every track is going to get easier. The next track is Bowser's Castle Wii. Matt got to choose all the tracks. I'm kind of scared to get at the start of boost here, but I'm just going to go for it. Okay, that was a lot better than I expected. So, it is possible we can maybe beat Matt on this one. That's a good pull. Get that acceleration boost. That's what it does, because this, this vehicle doesn't have any acceleration. It's a good thing and a bad thing. But it does help on a track like this, I think. So Matt is the Funky Kong, which makes it really easy to figure out where he is, because no one else is using Funky Kong. And I would just like to shout everybody out for being really, really awesome and not picking Funky. Made it super easy to find Matt on the minimap at all times, you know? But yeah, it's funny because even though this is the fastest vehicle in Mario Kart Wii, it feels like the slowest because the acceleration is so bad, so poor. And I see, I see Matt guys, like Matt is very close to us. He's the Funky Kong, he's only like two corners away right now. We gotta be careful. See, if stuff like that happens, we're not gonna beat him. He's gonna catch us right now. There he is, Matt! Dang it, this is not good guys, this is not good. He's too fast. He's too good. Where'd he go? I'm in sixth? Dang. This part is brutal too, right here. That's a good pull, that's a good pull. Nice, nice, nice. The straightaways are where you can really gain some ground, you know? Dude, guys, Matt is, like, right behind me. This is actually hilarious. He's, like, right there. I see him. Dude, we're, we're slowly catching up. There's some good Jet Setter players in this room, man. People are dominating. I'm in fourth right now. I can probably get second if I play this last turn really well. Mm, not good, not good. Matt is right behind me. I'm not even kidding. I see him. No! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I see him. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> I love how we just beat him by like a second. We got a 225. So a 225, that's like, that's really good pace for uh, for 150cc no items. You go to 225, you're, uh, you're happy. It's crazy how even these two vehicles were. 150cc Flame Runner versus Max CC Jet Setter. And Matt finished like right in the middle. That just shows this was like the perfect track the perfect track for this speed mod comparison. Yeah, Matt finished smack dab in the middle. That is fascinating. Let's see where the standings are at. Matt is still winning. Mike is in second. I'm in third. I think we're going to dominate this one. I really don't think this will be that hard for the Jet Setter. I might be eating my words right now, but I think this will be very doable. Just got to be smart about it. You kind of got to like charge into the wall at an angle and then you can kind of curve around it. That's the strat for this CC when you're using vehicles that suck. I have a little lead on that right now. I see him. Someone just jetted past me in a bullet bill, dude. Whoa, and they're respawning right now. That was hilarious. The bullet bills are still hilarious on, on max CC. They're absolutely comical. I just got redded. Dude, Matt's ahead of me. Okay, no, this is really interesting. This, this mod has been extremely great the last couple races here. Dude, Matt is beating me. Well, now I'm beating him, but he's about to pass me again. This is so funny. There he is. Right behind me. Right there. And it's funny because my game thinks he's on a speed mod, so it keeps having to recorrect his place. If you look at the mini map, his character will kind of jolt forward and then have to back up all the time. Because the way the speed mod works is it thinks everyone is on the same speed as you. And everyone is on the same speed as me, except for Matt. It's really crazy, man. Really crazy. I'm uh, battling it out of Armaldo right now. I'm taking over first. We got this. We got this. Bullet bills are really broken in this. You know. Dude, Matt is right next to us. He's literally only like one corner away. This is crazy. 
Uh oh, I'm gonna die. Nope, we're good, we're good. The recorrection. The bananas. Dude, Matt is right there, guys. We're doing 51 second laps. That's like 233 pace. This is so even. This is hilarious. Wow, I did not expect this. I did not expect it to be so close. You know? That's bad. That's not good. He's right behind me, dude. I see him. <laughs> dude, dude, if he pulls like a mushroom and does the shortcut, it is over. No, we, the spiral's scary, too. I need to not fall off, though. I need to be very careful. <laughs> Laying traps for our boy Matthew. Trying to get some jumps since I can redirect my angle here. Not bad, not bad. Oh, guys, we clutched this one. We clutched this one hard. We're going to beat him, guys. We're going to beat him. Yes. He just finished right now. He literally got a 236, and I got a 235. Matt got second place. He beat every other jet setter. But we beasted it. Dude, Armaldo, how did you get first? What the heck? CTGP broke. How did that happen? That makes no sense. Parkway. Okay. Another interesting one. These last two races have been fascinating. Matt! Dang. That was rough. <sighs> not good, not good. I'm gonna have to make some ketchup ground right now. Matt's beasting it. He's way up there. Unfortunately, I don't think I can pull a bullet in this position. No. If I was in like ninth, I could get a bullet. Ooh, Thunderclouds are really good in this. Yes! This is what I want. No, wait, I got it back. Let's go, let's go. Gotta get that acceleration boost. That'll come in clutch right here. It can help me get around this corner much easier. Oh, the Bam Shock Dodge. Nice. That was good. That was good. That's the strat, guys. That's the strat. Just gotta bump into walls. That would have been cool if I phased through it and did that shortcut where you can end up all the way like right here. Skip three corners like I did in my 99999cc video. The shortcut video. Oh yes. Ooh, not good. Matt's like right there guys. It's really close. He's literally right behind me right now. There he is dude. There he is. It's scary, dude. It's kind of scary. This is where we can gain time, guys. Right here. Right here. Yes. We can do this. Shoot for the stars. There we go. Beautiful. Awesome, awesome. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm kind of scared to use this mushroom. I'm just kind of holding it right now. You know what I'm saying? Dude, someone just got a bullet pill. The bullet pills are hilarious. It's like, oh, one second, one second. I think I got first. Wow. Okay, so we've taken the lead from Matt. We got 55. Matt's got 50. We're going to very much struggle around the ending. I'm curious how the slope is going to go after this U-turn. It might not be too bad. We'll see. Get like a sandstorm in trouble right here. Shoot for the stars. Ooh. Oh that, oh, that was amazing. Look at that. Nice. We do like that every lap. We are, uh, we're chilling. Should we go for the shortcut? Dude, Rox has been doing really well in this room. He's been figuring it out quick. Yeah, so I think this is the reason why this track won't be too bad. Like, I just got a 40.6 second lap. That's really good. But I don't think this track will be too bad because of uh, what you just saw right there. That giant straightaway is such a huge plus for the for the jet setter. It's going to make a huge difference. This part is rough. This is definitely the roughest part. But if I do a stencil main turbo and I angle it to the side. See? Look at that. Ooh, an invisible wall. Nice. Ooh. 
Ooh, I was gonna lay some traps. This slap felt even better, even though we got shocked. Let's see what this one ends up being. 38.6. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're taking over. It looks like Matt's doing decent, though. Like, he's definitely able to beat some of these jet setters. I, I'm able to use the walls to my advantage quite a bit. I feel like some of the other jet setter players in the room probably aren't doing that, which is why they're struggling so much. Because you, you just really want to bounce off the walls <laughs> at an angle and you're good. That was pretty funny. Oh, man. All right. I'm kind of curious to see what place Matt gets. Well, yo, Matt, still making it interesting. You got uh, third place right there. Not bad, not bad. Go, Matt. Yo, okay, Moonview. I think this one's actually going to be really easy. I don't think we'll struggle with this one whatsoever. I'm curious, though. You never know, right? We did the Tash shortcut, guys. We did the Tash shortcut. Some of you guys will understand that. Okay. I see you, Matt. I see you. This is where Matt's going to lose all his time, because this section is just absolutely broken. Absolutely broken. Oh! Oh! That was seamless. That was sick. We're off now, but that was that was that was quality. Matt's gonna Matt's gonna struggle to beat anyone on this one because that straightaway is is OP for the speed mod. That's the strat, guys. Just bump into that wall, and then you can take the shortcut up top. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Dude, rocks. What is going on, man? What is going on? He's lollygagging in the back. What is he up to? He's derping. 112. I feel bad for Matt on some of these, man. He's in last right now. I see him. Hopefully he gets a bullet bill or some speed item. Because, uh, oh man, no. He's screwed. He's screwed. This one's way too difficult. Kind of expected. Definitely a track that favors the Jet Setters. Okay. Uh, Ghost Valley 2. Dude. Whoa, that wasn't cool. Matt's gonna dominate this one, I'm calling it. He's winning this one. I'm not gonna have a chance. Matt is gonna literally smoke us. He underestimated how broken Ghost Valley 2 is for Flame Runner, for sure. <laughs> I got him, I got him. Dude, I just, I just blew up someone. Oh man, it wasn't Matt though. It was, it was a, it was one of those uh, King Boo players. There's Matt, dude. The shock helps us so much. It makes it way easier to, to, to get through this level. That's how I feel on almost every level so far that we played. No, 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 no. It's fun. Give me a dodge, that would be hilarious. Or not. That's fine too. Okay, Matt is like right there. Oh, we just got second place. I think Matt's gonna get like third, fourth, or fifth. It'll be interesting on this last straightaway. You can't really gauge it on the mini map. The mini map is just a cluster. Okay, so Matt got sixth place that race. Better than Moonview, but still one of the uh, lower performing races. Matt, uh, any track suggestions if you're in the chat right now? Here we go, Koopa Cape. How will this one go? I think I think Matt can gain a lot of time on the uh, the tube. The tube is where he can definitely make up some ground. That was sick. Ooh, I got it back. That's one of those rare times where you're kind of happy that you didn't pass it. So here here's what I'm talking about. Right here, people can so easily mess up. If they don't know what they're doing, they're gonna end up out of bounds. Luckily, I'm really good at this max CC mod. I've played it a lot. I know how to just tap A over and over and not get too carried away, so that's a big advantage I have over everybody. I know when to let go of A, and a lot of people were holding A too long. Uh-oh. That was crazy. I kind of just like ricocheted off that wall right there. We're in fifth right now. Where's Matt at? He's, he's just finishing the lap. Yeah, this is going to be hard for him. Very hard. The best tracks for sure were BC64 and BC Wii. Those were really entertaining. This was still fascinating though to see. 
Guys, hitting that is actually a strat. It slows you down. You kind of want to slow down, you know? Don't want to be going too fast. Yikes. Sick. That works. This part is where you always get stuck on speed mods, like right over here. That corner is just really unfavorable. Dude, we're only in fourth? Some people dominated this one. Dang. These people are out here. Oh, loop-de-loop. -loop. Ooh, double shocked. One fifty-three. Poor Matt. That was impossible. Oh, I got second! Oh wow, I did not think I got second. Shouts to Matt though, he beat, he beat some people. He's still uh, in third place overall. There's one more race left. Let's see if Matt can pull off uh, second place overall. This one is the last track. There is a chance that, uh, that Matt can pull off a first place on this one. I'm not kidding. Okay, here we go. He's been struggling these last few races. All of the easy ones for him are out of the way, like Maple Tree Way and Rainbow Road, but I think I would not be surprised if he manages to pull something off on this one. We'll see, we'll see. Let's see where he's at. He'll be doing the shortcut, I guarantee it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna shoot for that wall, and I'm gonna trick and see if I can pull something off here. Oh, it did not have enough speed. I think I was, because I was facing in a weird angle downward on the slope. That did not work at all. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if I did the rock hop from that angle. Okay, we're derping, guys. We're derping. Matt is way ahead. Look at him go. We gotta catch up right now. He's passing us. He's got a massive lead. Okay. There we go. But he is so far up there now. I'm in sixth because I was derping lap one. I'm going to see if I can uh, bring this back. Give me a respawn. There we go. Dude, we're kind of catching him, right? Kind of. Okay, okay. The game says I'm in sixth, but I know I'm not in sixth. You know? I'm definitely not in sixth. Dude, he's close, guys. He's close. We can maybe pull this off. No. Dang it. That sucks. No, wait. Wait, this could help me. This could help me. I got a blue shell. If it goes for Matt, that would be so funny. Oh, I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. No. I was trying to like angle myself so I can just like shoot straight for the finish line. That did not work out, did it? <laughs> okay, he definitely got us on that last one. I think Matt actually finished second overall because of that last race. Let's see where the standings ended up. I'm surprised he uh, he didn't uh, put that track in his in his eight choices. He gave me eight tracks and he picked Moonview over that one. I think it was just an oversight because that was definitely the way to go. Let's see what place he got. Matt got first. I ended up being third. And, oh, Armaldo ended up getting second and edging Matt out. So Matt finished with bronze. He was able to beat every Jet Setter except for two. And uh, it was a pretty interesting experiment. We played all of the more technical 150cc Nintendo courses. <sighs> he actually did a quite, quite a good job. Quite a good job. So for Mario Kart Wii Science, we learned if you're playing the most difficult courses and you're playing with the best vehicle in the game on 150cc, it's not that far off from playing an extremely high nine times speed multiplier with the Jet Setter, the worst vehicle. So, pretty cool.